Chuck Harrison, a former first baseman in MLB, passed away back on December 30th at the age of 82. He played between 1965 through 1971 for the Houston Astros, 1965 to 1967, and Kansas City Royals, 1969, 1971. Marty Amsler, a former defensive end in the National Football League for the Chicago Bears, Cincinnati Bengals, and Green Bay Packers, passed away on January 4th at the age of 81. Harrelson, a former MLB shortstop, coach, and manager, passed away at the age of 79 on January 10th. He played for the New York Mets, Philadelphia Phillies, and Texas Rangers from 1965 to 1980. After his retirement as a player, he served as a coach for the world champion 1986 Mets and as manager of the Mets in 1990 and 1991. Frank Ryan, who was a quarterback in the National Football League for the Los Angeles Rams, 1958 to 1961, Cleveland Browns, 1962 to 1968, and Washington Redskins. 1969 to 1970, passed away on January 1st at the age of 87. Franz Beckenbauer, a German professional soccer slash football player and manager, passed away at the age of 78 on January 7th. Nicknamed Der Kaiser, Beckenbauer was a versatile player who started out as a midfielder, but made his name as a central defender. He is often credited as having invented the role of the modern sweeper, Libero. With success at club and international level, he is one of nine players to have won the FIFA World Cup, the European Champions Cup, and the Ballon d'Or. Cochran played 10 seasons in the National Hockey League for the Philadelphia Flyers, Vancouver Canucks, Chicago Blackhawks, and Edmonton Oilers. Holt played tight end for the British Columbia Lions from 1978 to 1982, the Cleveland Browns from 1983 to 1986 and the San Diego Chargers in 1987. Jack Squirek, a former NFL linebacker who played in the National Football League for the Los Angeles Raiders from 1982 to 1986 and for the Miami Dolphins in 1986 passed away on January 5th at the age of 64. He was coach Forrest Evashevsky's first All-American in Iowa. He was also the captain of the baseball team as a senior. Hilgenberg was later drafted by the National Football League's Cleveland Browns, but he was also drafted by the U.S. Air Force, halting his professional career. Longtime Broncos radio broadcaster and Colorado Sports Hall of Famer Larry Zimmer passed away on Saturday. Zimmer called Broncos games for KOA Radio for 26 years, serving as the color commentator from 1971 to 1989 before handling play-by-play -play responsibilities from 1990 to 96. Norm Sneed, a former quarterback in the NFL, passed away on January 14 at the age of 84. He played for the Washington Redskins, Philadelphia Eagles, Minnesota Vikings, New York Giants, and San Francisco 49ers and played college football for Wake Forest University. He was drafted in the first round with the second overall pick of the 1961 NFL Draft. In 1954 Rick was drafted by the Detroit Lions, and after his military career he played professional football in the Canadian Football League for the Vancouver Lions for three seasons and for one season with the Ottawa Roughriders. Paul Widener, a former NFL headlinesman, passed away at the age of 78 on December 31, 2023. Bernie Fagan, a former defender in the North American Soccer League, passed away as reported on January 4 at the age of 74. Bethia played from 1963 to 1970 during his career with the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Bethia won the Grey Cup with the Hamilton Tiger Cats in 1963, 1965, and 1967. Bill Voss, a retired MLB outfielder who played eight seasons for the Chicago White Sox, California Angels, Milwaukee Brewers, St. Louis Cardinals, and Oakland Athletics of Major League Baseball, passed away on December 28 at the age of 80. 
Gardner was a scrappy, light-hitting second baseman for the New York Giants, Baltimore Orioles, Washington Senators slash Minnesota Twins, New York Yankees, and Boston Red Sox. His only significant time on any team was with Baltimore, where he spent four consecutive full seasons from 1956 to 1959. He succeeded Hall of Famer Jim Ringo at center for the Packers as a rookie in 1964. In his fourth NFL season in 1967, Bowman was the center during the winning play of the Ice Bowl. Connie Madigan, a Canadian NHL defenseman, passed away as reported on several social media posts at the age of 89. He played 20 games in the National Hockey League with the St. Louis Blues during the 1972-73 season. Over his nine-year career, Dales played for the Calgary Stampeders, Edmonton Eskimos, and Montreal Alouettes. Gators was drafted by the Denver Broncos in the 1961 American Football League draft and by the New York Giants in the 1961 NFL draft. He played two seasons in the NFL, spending time with the Giants and San Francisco 49ers. Gators spent the 1963 season with the Broncos in the AFL. He then played for the Hamilton Tiger Cats of the Canadian Football League in 1964. At the age of 20, Martin fulfilled every Canadian's dream of playing in the NHL. He played one game for the 1960-1961 Toronto Maple Leafs. Richard Dick Thonin, a former MLB pitcher, passed away back on December 21st at the age 79. He pitched in the Phillies organization from 1963 to 1969. The New Orleans Saints drafted Powell with the 169th overall pick. He played in 14 games during the 2014 season. Sam Big Red Silas, a former NFL defensive tackle in the NFL, passed away back on December 17th at the age of 83. He played for the St. Louis Cardinals from 1963 to 1967, for the New York Giants in 1968, and for the San Francisco 49ers from 1969 to 1970. Tavares Washington, a former NFL guard, passed away as announced on January 5th. He was a guard in the National Football League for part of a single season in 2008 for the Kansas City Chiefs. Wendell Harris was a former NFL defensive back and played for the following teams, the Baltimore Colts, 1962 to 1965, and the New York Giants, 1966 to 1967. Lance Larson, a former Olympic gold medalist USA swimmer, passed away on January 19th at the age of 83. He competed at the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome, Italy, where he received a gold medal for swimming the butterfly. Mo Lobby, a Canadian ice hockey player who played five games in the National Hockey League with the Chicago Black Hawks during the 1972-73 season, passed away on January 13th at the age of 76. Steve Staggs, a former Major League Baseball second baseman who played for two seasons, passed away at the age of 72 on January 21st. He played 72 games for the Toronto Blue Jays during the 1977 season and 47 games for the Oakland Athletics during the 1978 season. Tommy Baldwin, a former member of the North American Soccer League, passed away on January 22nd at the age of 78. In 1975, Baldwin played for the Seattle Sounders in the North American Soccer League. Donald O'Neill Lasseter, a former MLB outfielder, passed away on January 22nd at the age of 90. The outfielder appeared in four Major League Baseball games as a member of the 1957 St. Louis Cardinals. He played for the Philadelphia Eagles from 1986 to 1987 after being drafted by the Eagles in the sixth round of the 1986 NFL Draft. He played college football at Wisconsin. Before his graduation in 1985, he had also earned All-American and All-Big Ten honors during his career at Wisconsin. Ernest McNeil Moore, a former NFL defensive back, passed away back on March 9th at the age of 89. 
He played for the Chicago Bears in the National Football League. He played college football at Sam Houston State University and Rice University. During his NFL career, he was with the Chicago Bears, 1954 to 1957, and he played in 35 games while he recorded eight interceptions. Art Red Swanson, a former Major League Baseball pitcher, passed away on January 19th at the age of 87. Swanson appeared in 43 games for the Pittsburgh Pirates from 1955 through 1957. Bruce Coverton, a former offensive lineman in the CFL who won two Grey Cups with the Calgary Stampeders, died January 23rd at the age of 57. Kelly Malvo, a former defensive back and linebacker in the CFL, passed away on January 24th at the age of 47. During his CFL career, he recorded 17 interceptions and six sacks as mainly as a defensive back and played at several levels of professional football suiting up from 1999 to 2010 during his career with the Amsterdam Admirals, Calgary Stampeders, Edmonton Eskimos, Montreal Alouettes, Orlando Rage, Sacramento Mountain Lions, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, and Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Marie Mansfield Kelly, a former player in the AGBL, passed away on January 24th at the age of 92. She entered the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League in 1950 with the Rockford Peaches, playing for them as a fourth outfielder and at first base. Tommy Nettles, a former wide receiver in the CFL, passed away on January 22nd at the age of 79. He was a standout athlete at San Diego State and was named the Aztecs MVP during his senior season. He was then drafted by the NFL's Kansas City Chiefs, but chose to play in Canada at Edmonton. In the two seasons with the Edmonton Eskimos, Nettles caught 49 passes for 642 yards and three TDs. Jimmy Williams, a MLB infielder, coach, and manager of Major League Baseball, passed away on January 29th at the age of 80. He appeared in two MLB seasons as a second baseman and shortstop for the St. Louis Cardinals. After his playing career, he managed for the Toronto Blue Jays, 1986-89, Boston Red Sox, 1997-2001, and Houston Astros, 2002-04, and was the American League Manager of the Year in 1999. Blaine Latcher, a former NHL goaltender, passed away on January 29th at the age of 53. Latcher played for the Boston Bruins in the National Hockey League in the mid-1990s. He was a standout goaltender at Lake Superior State University in college, leading his team to a national championship in 1994. Terry Beasley, an NFL wide receiver, passed away on January 31st at the age of 73. He played college football for the Auburn Tigers, where he lettered from 1969 to 1971. After college, Beasley was selected in the first round of the 1972 NFL Draft by the San Francisco 49ers, with whom he spent the duration of his short professional career before injuries forced his retirement following the 1975 season.